the big picture here is that OpenAI is trying really, really hard to stay at the head of the pack. This is a company that has been uh, sort of racing very hard toward AGI or something that they can claim is AGI, um, and they are they are still going. I find that actually their execution uh, to be quite uh, impressive. Like this is now a very large company. They've got a lot of different competing teams and priorities. Um, and they had all the this board drama. And I think, you know, it was reasonable to expect. And I certainly expected that in the wake of all that, uh, they would sort of slow down and, and maybe allow some competitors to catch up. Uh, but they showed this week that they are not slowing down, that they are, in fact, accelerating, and they want to get here before anyone else. True, although they have also experienced a lot of poaching in recent weeks and months. And I think one thing I'll have my eye on over the next several months is, are they able to uh, continue iterating very quickly or have some of the losses that they've experienced uh, over the past few weeks really hurt them? Yeah. Um, you know, incidentally, Kevin, I'm told that in response to the GPT-5 launch, inside Meta headquarters, the super intelligence researchers have moved their desks even closer to Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> so that's how seriously they're starting to take this over there. They are now sitting on top of Mark Zuckerberg. There are now two researchers who are sitting at Mark Zuckerberg's desk with him. And we'll have to see how that plays out.